Monday morning. It is Monday, the 20th of January, 10, 19 a.m., 50 degrees, and you know what I've forgotten to do. Two things, one, I wanted to change my watch band from my running band, and two, I forgot to feed the dogs. So I'm gonna do that now, and then I'm gonna come back and yap at you, okay? <laughs> okay, here's my other one. My just, you know, my everyday watch band I wear. Absolutely love this band. I do wish I could find the exact band with gold. I'd like it to be silver and gold. You know, I have gold earrings in today. I have my Julie box necklace on. And uh, I'm about to take everything off though because I have a couple videos to film. But I wanted to pop in and say hello to you. Um, I used the new Hot Tools hair dryer today. Nope. Nope, it did not do as well with my hair at all. Like, my hair did not and I didn't change my shampoo, I didn't change my hair product. Um, the shampoo I use is the Awa Pui from Paul Mitchell. The conditioner I use is the Colleen Rothschild um, mask. I use that every time I wash my hair. And then the hair product I use, I rotate between when I want my hair to be outstanding, I use the Colleen Rothschild um, pump um, stuff. <laughs> That was helpful. I'm popping a picture here and I'll also link it in the description box. It doesn't do anything for me. Go find your favorite YouTuber who uses Colleen Rothschild. They will have a discount code for you. So go use theirs. Um, and then I also use something that came. It's from Dry Bar. It's just a heat protectant spray when I don't really care about what my hair looks like. Um, so I'll use that. But I mean it did okay. It's nowhere near as good as my Revlon. It's just not. Um, I, you can see I have more frizz up here. My hair is not as shiny. What is the difference? I don't know. They look the same. I mean, one's gold, one's one's black. I, I one's pink, one's gold. I I don't honestly know what the differences could be between the two. But um, I mean, I'll use the uh, the Hot Tools one, but my Revlon one will be the one I use when I want my hair to look really nice. Anyway, okay, so I'm about to film my mint mongoose in my cause box, and I've been waiting all weekend to film them. I'm ready to get them filmed. Um, so there you go. But I wanted to pop in and show you my sweater, and um, I need to make tortillas today, so I'm hoping to get that done too. Uh, I'm gonna turn my camera a little bit more for the video because I've noticed it's blurry. I can't tell that it's blurry, like at all. Even in my glasses, I can't tell that the screen is blurry, so, because it's focusing over there and not on me. So, I will link everything for you that I've talked about, you know that, and now I'm gonna go and film my video. Hello. Hello. It is 67 degrees outside, Saturday the 25th of January. How are you today? We are out and about. We are headed to the Houston Auto Show. Then we're probably gonna run into Sam Moon, and which is like a, it's like a Charming Charlie, but the size of Walmart. And then we're gonna go to the grocery store. So um, we thought we'd bring you along. It might be a little more fun than sitting at home. I just left Kroger. We needed to pick up some cash. Ugh, my arm is tired. It's out of practice for vlogging. We needed to pick up some cash, so we went into Kroger and grabbed a couple things. And this, I know it's backwards. Good, is it backwards? I don't know. Good bars. So Deb, as you saw earlier, Deb sent me that good bar, and it was so good. Good yeah. fats. Mm -hmm. Dance request. Yeah, dance, dance request. Good fats. And I wanted to try another one. And this one is gluten-free. This is the peanut butter chocolatey. And it has, let's see, 13 grams of fat. Um, it's, it's tiny, I'm sorry. 13 carbs, eight fiber, one gram of included sugars, one gram of added sugars, nine grams of protein. And um, I'm just most excited about the fact that it's gluten-free. I'm on my phone, I keep looking in the wrong spot. So let me get this open, hang on. So it looks really yummy. I mean, it looks like a candy bar, let's be real. I mean, that's what's appealing about it is that it looks like a candy bar. Good. 
you don't expect it's dry that's dry and really soft and I appreciate that it's not overly sweet that's really good I did also pick up the chocolate chip cookie dough one dude he just cut us off like big time in between a big truck too and then the Quest Peanut Butter Brownie Smash. That looked really good. This is a candy bar. Let's be real. This is a treat. This is not, you shouldn't use this as a meal replacement. I mean, in my opinion, you might feel different. Oh, this one's really hard. We have to take that back. And then um, this one is chocolate peanut butter. So the other one was a brownie one. This is just chocolate peanut butter. They're both really hard, so they may have to go back. When they get hard like that, that means they've gotten too hot on the Quest bars, and I find that it's not okay. Unless they're covered in chocolate, and then they're kind of hard. So we'll have to see. I'll open it and see if it's hard and really bad. They'll kind of change color. I take them back because that means they got too hot. Anyway, so I just want to tell you about that. Now, we are headed to the auto show. I'm really excited. And, um, of course, we're not, we're not buying your car. But if you've been following us for, <laughs> true, for any length of time, then you know we go to the auto show every year. We like to go to the boat show. We like to go to the auto show. Um, the boat show, we missed this year because we were on a cruise. But often, they have RVs at the boat show. That's, so that one's like my favorite one to go to. In case you don't know, maybe you're new. <laughs> I want an RV. <laughs> And I don't know if I want a tow behind or a motor coach. I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter. We're not getting one. But I like to dream that we are. But he did agree that we could do like a land trip with an RV and rent one. So now we got to decide. Do we want a tow behind or do we want a motor coach? So we got to go to the RV shows to find out, right? <laughs> See you in a second. All right. We are here. NRG Stadium. But we're not going into the actual stadium. We're going into the event section part of it. The Astrodome on the right and Energy on the left. Uh -huh. Wow. And we used to think the Astrodome was enormous. I know you was cut off a little bit there, but I was trying. <laughs> Oh, is it? 
Rubicon must be just the package. Oh, yeah. We're Dodge people. I mean, we've been driving a Dodge for years and years and years. Frank is 2001, yeah. Finn's a 2006, and I had a Dodge Durango, just like Dodge. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. You know, I thought you can't see it. I know, but there's lots of people here. It's hard for me to get around everyone. All right, all right, so it's $110,000. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Look at that gray right there. Like I said, you guys, we're brave. We love gray vehicles. Oh, look at that one. That one. Which is that one? 63. 63. Beautiful. I mean, you guys. <laughs> I mean, I'd need the step to get in it. <laughs> Look, they have vans. Oh, yes, please. That's a party wagon. Yeah. Get lots of cruise luggage in there. All right, you guys, look at these. Yeah, they'll just go pop right on. I could ride it. Look at that one. Yeah. Very cool. I don't know how to do it. But it has training wheels for me. Yes, it does have training wheels for you. I couldn't wreck it. Oh, yeah, you could. Not even close. No? No. Wow. Look at that. All right, here we go. Here's your Lamborghinis. I like the matte paint. I don't know what it is, but I kind of like that. You know, it's been around a couple years now. Baby P1. Legit. Here's a little more of my speed, the little go-karts. <laughs> that looks like fun. <laughs> Look at that blue. That's bright. Acura. You've driven an Acura. It's MDX. Lots of interest in this little guy. What is it, babe? What's it called? Acura NSX. NSX. All right. Which is this one? The ILX. ILX. Oh, you've wanted this one for years. What's the other one you like? 
No, it's not an Acura. I'm thinking of a different car. It's an Acura TL. TL, that's it. That's, that, that was a while ago, though. Again, we are not buying a car. Not now, anyway. Well, that's 31. 31? Yep. Not bad. It's just saying how frightening is it that 31,000 is now not bad at the price of a car. When we were teens, good grief, 31,000 would have gotten you a top of the line car. Here, the vehicle is locked. Sort of see in there. Right. For those of us who love minivans, me. I am a minivan lover. Look at that. Cup All holders. The, yeah. The problem with coming on a weekend is there's so many people, it's hard to film. <laughs> Eighty-nine. Eighty-nine thousand. 
<laughs> did you hear that? It's $89,000 that costs more than our first house. And he said probably has more square footage than our first house. <laughs> that was funny. Woo! Hey. I mean, look, here's the door. You can see a big old truck. You like that one? Eh. Yeah. But which one is the one you really like? Wasn't it, is it Chevy? Chevy or the Dodge? Dodge. 2500 that one. Yeah. We drive diesel. Yes. How many miles your truck have on it? Uh, just hit 150,000 and it's an 07. Yeah. So, I mean, it's got another, what, 100,000 miles before? If not more. Yeah. It's hard to... It. It's hard to buy a new one, but it's hard not to with all these fancy new trucks. Because his is not... Thing. Right, right. His is not, you know, fancy like these. It's so... Anyway, but it's a work truck. It's I not, know. you know... Get your iPad. Yeah. Here, hop on in. Okay, come in. Uh, four low, four high. Trailer brake. Axle lock. Push button start. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. You know, I know we have that, but I don't know. Turn I mean, look at the size of this bad boy. Oh wow! You probably can't see in there, but I mean, you've got, and it goes under. Well, you can't see. Does this come out? I'm sure this comes out. Oh, it slides. Man, you could put all sorts of paperwork in there. Slide this. Nice. And then it's all open in there. Oh, a DC, I mean, a uh, outlet, AC outlet. It's pretty. It's got the sunroof. Yeah. Okay, sunroof, we'll we, we have one. We never use it, but yeah. We'll take it. Absolutely. Stuff. All the stuff and the things. It's the Lone Star Edition. This one's not quite as tall. It's still pretty tall. 60. 60? It's only a 1500. Right. You need a 2500, don't you? Yep. Is that one of those weird tailgates? What's the one in the new commercial that it's like steps down? Uh, GMC. GMC. Yeah. You think these are so pretty? It's good. Yeah. Ford Explorer. It's just so All pretty. Right. Yeah. Second question, right? Yeah. Okay, we are now at Chevy. Look at that. Colorado. So pretty. We currently drive a Chevy 2500 HD Duramax diesel. Look at that one, babe. It's gorgeous. Oh, I like that. You need that. times I've hit my shin on his you know when you're doing something in the truck oh babe look at the color of this one. Oh, this one should be yours oh this one's gorgeous okay you can have this one okay. I yeah. Wow so it's a work truck because it's got the rubber mats. No, Z71. Never mind. That's not a work truck. But yeah. So you wouldn't have to get that package. But yeah, right. But this is what... It's a 2500. Whatever. Yeah. So it is. <laughs> it's a high country. And it's a Z71. So you wouldn't even need this package. So, but still, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that grill. That grill says, oh, I'm tough. Look at that. How much was that soda? $5.75. $5.75. It better taste like liquid gold. It doesn't. Nope. That's what I was talking about. 
talking about earlier. That is so nice. Just step right on. Step right up. Oh yeah, okay, the handle pops up. Alright, now to get down. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. jump. It did jump. <laughs> Love the black rims and the black trim with the silvery gray color. Oh, yes, please. Thirty-three I mean, you gotta you gotta think about that. That's pretty reasonable for an SUV. Thirty-three thousand dollars. That's it. It probably doesn't have any of the safety features. Rear vision, teen, rear locks. Yeah, so no. Lane change alert, rear cross traffic alert, power. Rear options. Alert. Right, they're installed. Oh, nice. Cruise control camera. Nice. I want, okay, those are, that's what we already have sort of on fit. We don't have as much, but I want the one that if you start to veer, it pulls you back in your lane. Like on Taylor's car. This is what we want for him. That is so awesome. Tell you how many times we've tried to, you know, he's got to back up, park, and connect to his trailer, and it's just him. It's, sometimes it's a pain, especially if he's not on an even surface, or can be a pain. And I like the tailgate on these trucks. What is that? Oh, there she is. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Is it me you're not... looking for? It's absolutely gorgeous. They were, they were over here as well as That is the Evo. Behind the Tesla, that's my car. Beautiful. That one. Oh. Is, oh my god, babe. As shown, 92. Let's just buy two, okay? Gorgeous. Look at this. This could be a Jaguar. That's the EV 400. That is gorgeous. Is it electric? We saw this in the parking lot. We saw a gray one. It's an electric car. It's the electric car. It's yeah, right. that is absolutely beautiful. Goodness. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> All right, look at this. This car, this minivan has a recliner in it. Nice. That's awesome. This is the Sienna Toyota Sienna. Very nice. Very nice. There's the front of it. It's really pretty. A hybrid RAV4, and it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm very interested in hybrids and electric vehicles. That's really something I'd like to purchase next for me. It's either a hybrid or an all-electric. Um, we don't know. Something we're very heavily considering. They left. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait, come back. Come back. Come back with the babies. Come back with the babies. Okay, we found the dogs. We have found the most important thing at this event. The pupper dogs. Yeah. Hi, baby. Oh, did you find a little one to play with? No, you did. What are you doing over there? Oh, he's so handsome. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. He's like, I am completely over people at this point. Subaru, they do a lot of work with rescue dogs and rescue pets. Uh, our Subaru dealership is literally right next door to our local animal shelter. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, darling. What you got? You got that tongue hanging out. Are you ready to go home? Hi, baby. Hi. Hey. Hey, you want under there? Hey. Let me see. Oh. Let me see. Let me get some kisses. Oh, handsome baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That's not a reason to buy a Subaru. I don't know what is. Rob likes the Sonata. He says it's similar to the Audi 7 or what I forget what the seven's called, but uh, well, didn't the CEO or somebody of Audi or the designer at Audi come and work for like Hyundai, Honda, Hyundai or Kia? Look at that. Look at the dash. That's gorgeous. That's beautiful. 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 I'm getting very tired. <laughs> we still have um, Kia. Who else? We have Kia and um, I don't see Kia anywhere. Hmm. <laughs> All right, time for Mazda. One of the most beautiful cars or SUVs. Isn't that gorgeous? Just, it screams me. <laughs> Look at that one, babe. That is beautiful. That color. Like a steel blue gray. Oh. Beautiful. I need a mini so we can call it Dur. Dur mini. mini. Oh my gosh, look how cute it is. Okay, I want this one. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Thank you. It for me to have it is if Rob fits it. Somebody left a sprite. We could have just saved the money. <laughs> Did you hear him? Somebody left a sprite. We could have just saved the money. He was kidding. Isn't it cute? <laughs> yes. It's so cute. It's so dirt. Oh yeah. Is it too high up for you? I'm just looking at the... <laughs> Aww. See, I told him it says mine. <laughs> you can say and his. So cute. So adorable. Okay. Did you have fun? Had a great time. Yeah. Saw lots of cars. Dreamed real big. Real, real big. <laughs> Now we're gonna go out into the cold. Thank you, honey. Oh, what's your fingers? Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna go out into the cold. It's not that cold, but it's cold for me. It is 62, but it's windy, so that makes me cold. We're not gonna do the shuttle. There was a shuttle here. We don't need to do that. We didn't realize how close it was, so we'll just walk. Now we're gonna head to, are we gonna go to Sand Moon, or are we gonna just go to ATB? Uh, same man. Yeah. He wants to look for luggage for um, United, United Airlines. Yep. So there's his 17 by 9 by 10, I think. Yep, and our spirit bags are 18 by 14 by 8. By 8. So we need to, because we're flying United. I ordered one off of Amazon, but because um, I'll do like a review and that kind of thing, talk about it, traveling with it, and having like my other spirit videos. Um, but, uh, Just get a duffel bag for me. yeah, we're trying to find a less expensive option because, uh, the one on Amazon was pricey. <laughs> yep. We're not going there. I was going to make sure I don't get run over. We're going down there to that store called Sam Boot. Get a purse. This is the place for you. I mean, there's a bajillion purses here, and this is just a handful. All right, but we are here for this. Oh, look at that. Hold on, let me get you the measuring tape. It has wheels on it too, wow. Look at that. Fancy. That's huge though. I think that's bigger than what was? 17 by 10 by 9, I think. Or 17 by 9 by 10. I don't This is 20 by 14 by 8. Well, there's some behind you that look a little smaller. Painful, I know. That one looks a little smaller, huh? No? 
Probably the same size. Just 20 by 14 by 8. Yeah. I think we're going to need something more like this. Yeah. That's nice. Ooh, look at that little cutie patootie. 16 5 by 14 by 7. Hmm. This is a, it's a good one. It's got wheels too. Look at this one. This has wheels. Look at this. It's heavy, but so, yeah, it has wheels. Oh, I didn't. 17 by 14 by 8 and a half. Sparkly bags. Ooh, look at that one. That's different. It's nice. Set here. These are eighty dollars. <laughs> These are cute. Hello, Rob's over here. Let me. It, you know I have to do it. Okay, it is seventy-four degrees outside. To, oh, gross. It is Sunday, the 26th of January, and I'm going to try and be quick since we have the auto show this week. I know the vlog's gotten a little long. Um, so I tried these this weekend. I don't like this one. I enjoyed this one. This is this one. Nope, not for me, but there is this one. This one's actually pretty good. Um, now, I'm not the biggest fan of pork, so that's probably the issue with that one. But this one was pretty tasty, even though it is chicken instead of a tortilla, which I thought was really gonna be something I didn't enjoy, but it turned out to be pretty good. So those are in the freezer case. Now, I am fixing dinner now. I'm fixing two dinners, but this one we're starting with is cheesy provolone baked chicken oven baked, and this is by My Montana Kitchen. So here's where we are so far. There you go. And I'm just putting the last of, like, the abundance of sauce that goes over the top of this. I'm putting the last of it on there. This is provolone underneath and chicken breasts uh, underneath. And I'm going to then bake this. And um, show you. But there, this is just a whole lot of topping. It's a lot of sour cream and mayonnaise up there, which, and I knew Rob wasn't going to love this meal because of the topping, so I am going to make him some ravioli, but Chandler and I are going to have this. So, anyway, this is enough for Chandler and I to have for lunch tomorrow, which is kind of what I was looking for, something I could do like I've been doing forever and have my lunch, my dinner from one day for lunch, the leftovers the next day. So I'm gonna slip this one in the oven and then I'm gonna show you the other meal I'm gonna make tonight. One second. Okay, so yesterday I ran into HEB. I didn't really show you that. We didn't really get too much, just a couple of things. Just sort of the staples you run out of. Um, so this is low carb buffalo chicken casserole. I am in the mood for spicy chicken. I'm gonna make this tonight, but I also wanna make some low carb crackers. I just don't know if I'm gonna have time tomorrow, but that's fine. I can eat this with a fork or on an avocado or something like that. So this one is by Buns in My Oven. It just looked really good. Rob thought that was funny. This just looks really good. Um, it's not a color picture here, but it's a casserole. And so you can certainly make your own chicken. And I would 99% of the time, but I happened to see this yesterday and they had a coupon on it. So this was about $1.25 for the chicken. And I thought, well, that is perfect. Now I'm going to half this recipe. Have half. Hell, what you know, half this recipe. I'm going to make half this recipe um, because I know nobody else in my family will eat this but me. So I'm just gonna make half of it. Um, it is six servings, so I'll make three servings and um, we're gonna throw it together. It looks very, very simple. I did pick up this. This is the Frank's Red Hot Wings. This is buffalo. This says red hot sauce. 
I'm sure that's the same thing as Frank's Red Hot Sauce, right? I would think so, I don't know. But this is what I was craving. This flavor is what I was craving. And yes, you can make all sorts of different recipes on Pinterest, and actually I've pulled a few that maybe I wanna try this week, but might have to go back to the grocery store because I just used all my cheese on <laughs> that chicken. So um, I'm excited about this. So I'm gonna throw this together. I'll show it to you before it goes in the oven. And um, then I'll also show you everything before I taste it. And then we're gonna wrap this very long vlog up. Last week's vlog was long too. So hopefully next week's vlog won't be as long. <laughs> maybe. Okay, we just had some really bad news about Kobe Bryant in a helicopter crash. Oh my gosh. Um, all right, so here's where we are. Here is the chicken mixture. I just flung my fork everywhere. And then here is the egg and cheese mixture. And I'm gonna pour these together and then put this in the oven and bake it. Okay, so there is the provolone. What is this? Cheesy provolone, provolone baked chicken. There it is. I'm gonna let it rest for a little while, but that actually, it looks pretty good. So, I mean, it's basically, you see all the oil in there though? Can you see all of that? Wow. So that's, you know, eight slices of cheese, four pieces of chicken, sour cream, and mayonnaise mixed together with some seasoning. So, that is a, that is a lot, but that looks delicious. You know, honestly, this would probably be really good on a sandwich. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying it looks delicious. And that's pasta for Chandler and um, that's for Rob to make it. I'm gonna make him some ravioli tonight. And we, the other stuff's still in the oven. And there's the buffalo chicken dip. Now, of course, we're gonna dip into both of these so you can see what it looks like on the inside. Um, but, oh, that looks, that looks really good. Okay, so we're gonna dive into this pretty quick. Look at that. That actually, I mean, it looks pretty good. Now we're gonna try it. Mm, look at that. That's pretty good. Next time, I'm gonna leave out the ranch seasoning. I don't think it needs it. Or I'll use ranch instead of just the seasoning. I realize this is not attractive, but it is delicious. That, that one will be made again many times. Okay, well now it is 6.30 and um, I am having a cup of coffee in my beautiful Norwegian mug from my friend Deb. And um, did I just spill? No. Robbie just left, uh, so that's why I was kind of brief with dinner is, is the kids were home. So we were having kind of a family night and I sent him home with the buffalo chicken dip because I did not enjoy that. I think it would be good if you had the store-bought ranch mix or you used ranch like from a jar you know a, a salad dressing any kind you know i think it would just be better so i'm gonna work on that recipe because i i think it has potential i don't know honestly i don't know we'll see and then um the cheesy provolone but chicken excellent excellent i will leave it linked for you in the description box i highly recommend it i'm looking forward to having it for lunch tomorrow and i had it with green beans and it was delicious and i can see it like in a tortilla chopped you know dice it up or cut it up and roll it in a tortilla huh. yes <laughs> i think it would be delicious anyway all right, you guys, that's it for this week. Thank you so, so much for joining us for another weekly vlog. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. And I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. And next week, I don't know what's on the docket for next week. I have no idea. I know I've got a lot of work to do. So that's coming. And um, the RV show is coming up also. And we're going to be going to that. So we're very excited about that. So... There you go. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. Bye.